Done saying the same thing. He was looking at the at the lights that are on top of Black Mountain. That that's where that's his landmark. That's what he was looking at. And that's where he was walking. Imagine the heartbreak of not knowing where your child is. Well, Henderson woman did not know where her autistic son was for 14 hours. Vincenzo Paradiso wandered away from his school in North Las Vegas last week. Fortunately, he was found. A key piece in this happy ending, the man who first spotted Vincenzo. Fox 5's Tiana Bonner was there as his mom got to thank this good Samaritan. Yeah, John Faith, the man who found the teen calls it luck, but Vincenzo's mom says it's much more than that. Vincenzo's family is still trying to piece together how he got from Cheyenne High School to McCarran Airport on a map. It's just 14 miles driving, but his family believes the autistic teen walked up to 25 miles trying to get back home. We retraced his steps and it, it's pretty frightening the areas that he went to. We may never know exactly where Vincenzo walked or what he saw, but the autistic teen was determined to get home. He said that he saw the lights downtown, so we know that he was somewhere near the hotel area. His mom, Stephanie Paradiso, says he needs extra care, so he lives at a center in North Las Vegas and goes to school nearby. But on Thursday, he wanted to see his parents, so he started walking across the valley. He said that a man asked him what he was doing at some point, and he told him, I'm, I'm going to Henderson, I'm going home. His family believes he wandered around without any food. He told them when he got thirsty, he picked up a bottle of water on the side of the road. Then 14 hours into his trek near McCarran Airport. It's shocking that he made it that far and then for someone to actually find him. That someone is Sal Pena. You are literally my superhero for life. Around 2 a.m., Sal was driving home, got off 215 when he spotted the teen. I'm halfway through the tunnel. I see somebody on walking through it, which I thought was really weird. At first, he didn't think to stop, but something in his gut kept tugging. I get almost to the end of the tunnel, and I'm like, Sal, just, just pull over. That, that's him. That has to be him. Sal works with Vincenzo's dad, so he had seen that the autistic teen was missing on social media. When, when I pulled over to give it a second thought, that's when I, I double checked the Facebook post too. I was like, that, that's him. When Sal stopped the teen, Vincenzo didn't want to get into a car with a stranger, so Sal followed him to make sure he was safe until he could call police and Vincenzo's dad. I don't think that I'm a hero, honestly. Anybody else, I, I'd like to think that they would, do, would have done the same thing. Vincenzo's mom disagrees. Grateful isn't even a word that can encompass what it means to me that you went the extra mile to get my son and keep him in your sight. I can never, I can never truly express it. I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Vincenzo's mom still has a lot of questions for CCSD. She requested an emergency meeting with his school to find out exactly why no one told her her son was missing for five hours. We reached out to CCSD. They said they didn't have any comment today. Tiana Bonner, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.